It's a large ship. It's capable of accommodating around two and a half thousand people. And it will be used as a reception centre for refugees, a place where they can go to get registered to begin that process of getting the documents they need in order to travel to other parts of Europe. Up to now, that work has been done in a stadium in the centre of the town, and that's where you have seen those clashes between the police and migrants. Frankly, the building isn't fit for that purpose. Now, some will argue that this is simply moving the problem from there, but something has to be done to try to tackle it. I was on the seafront this morning and at sunrise you could just see all of the people who had slept in the streets overnight on that promenade where normally you would expect tourists to walk up and down. There were families, children all lying there amid all of the luggage. This is a problem that does need to be tackled. There are piles and piles of life vests here in the harbour at Kos. These were all taken away from migrants and refugees who had to be rescued from the Coast Guard because they got into difficulties in the water. And, and just over here, you can see some of the boats, some of the dinghies that they have been using to try and make that journey from Turkey. It's not a particularly big distance. However, it is dangerous and there are risks attached, particularly when you're in a boat that's not particularly suitable. And Coast Guard ships continue coming in overloaded with people. The Greek authorities hope that today they are making a step to deal with this crisis by putting in place this ship as a registration centre. But the truth is, is this problem isn't going to go away from the streets of course anytime soon because the migrants, they keep on coming.